Hello and welcome to another video of time series forecasting. In this video, I'm going to talk about time plots. The first thing that you do when you deal with time series analysis is you start with the time plot. That is, you plot the observations against the time of observations. And in this way, you can have a look at how your data or time series is uh, behaving over time and you can observe various patterns in the series. I'm going to show you time plots by using uh, two examples. My first example is of uh, economy class passengers from Melbourne to Sydney. This data is coming from uh, your book so you don't have to bring in your data but anytime that you will bring your own data the first thing you have to do is to set this data as time series. Our data Melbourne to Sydney it's already set up as time series. You can always look into this data by typing in Melsid and then look at the description of this data set. Let's have a look at uh, the summary statistics of this data set and look at the first 10 and the last 10 observations in this data set. So we know that uh, there are three columns, first class, business class and economy class passengers and uh, then there are various uh, statistics given uh, with this data set. Next thing we can do is we can get a feel for the data set by looking at uh, the head of the data set and the tail of the data set. This data set is time series so we know that it was set up as TS object. The start is 1987 and observe that the frequency is 52 because there are 52 weeks in a year hence our frequency is 52. Okay the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use this function autoplot and this autoplot function will pick up an appropriate plot and uh, plot this data set against time and uh, here I'm going to plot economy class column only. Remember our data set has three columns. I'm interested in plotting uh, this economy class uh, column. This is the argument or our data in this autoplot function and then we can add a title and the x-axis and the label for the y-axis on this plot. So we have this time plot of our data. So let's have a look at uh, this data set and observe various patterns in this uh, data set. First thing to notice here is that there were no economy class passengers during a period in 1989. In fact there was an industrial dispute and a strike was going on here and uh, hence we don't have any observations during this time. For this you may not know what happened during this time so you need to talk to an expert and uh, that expert will give you more information about why there was a dip in the data set. We also observe this time period where there was a dip in uh, the number of passengers. You also need to talk to an expert to know more about uh, this. We also observe that at the start of every year, in January every year, there's a dip in the number of passengers. The same is going on in 1989, 1990, 1991 and uh, 92. So you need to explore more that why are we observing this dip at the beginning of each year. This is because of the holiday effects. And then we have uh, some missing observations here. So all these features of uh, this series are revealed to you only by looking at the time plot. That is why time plots are important. Let's look at another example. So in this example I'm going to plot monthly sales of uh, a diabetic drug in Australia. This is our data set A10. I'm going to pass it to auto plot function and then I'm going to use anti-diabetic uh, drug sales as a title and then my y-axis and uh, x-axis uh, labels. And we have uh, this uh, time plot. So let's have a look at uh, different features of uh, uh, this graph. So first thing observe there is a trend here, an upward trend. And then you also see there's a strong seasonal pattern. So these are the seasonal patterns and these are regular ups and downs in the series. So this is a seasonal pattern. We also observe that uh, the sales for this drug, it drops at the beginning of every year. So see here's a dip at the beginning of every year, right? So you need to know more about uh, why are we observing these factors by going into your data, talking to different experts. This is how you time plot your time series and observe these patterns or unusual observations and if needed you talk to an expert 
to know more about uh, these patterns or unusual observations. Now, whenever you build any forecasting model, you need to capture all these patterns in your forecasting model. You have to incorporate this trend or the seasonal pattern in the model that you will build to forecast this uh, series. So this is an initial idea about uh, observing these patterns in a time series and then thinking about your model around these patterns. Alright, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.